What's going on church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. So today's title, Four Signs You're Being Tested, Not Tempted. Let's get into it. Number one, you'll notice you're getting stronger. When you endure every situation that's placed before you, over the course of time, you'll start to notice that you're becoming stronger because you start to develop a resistance toward the pain that's not meant to destroy you but to strengthen you in order for you to become stronger. That's a form of test that the Heavenly Father will bring us through. But tempting is something that's being placed in front of you that you do want, and Satan enjoys watching us struggle under pressure. See, testing is when God places something in front of you that you don't want to do, knowing that he will help you endure and get through it. Because it's designed to take you off the course that God has designed for you. So we got to be careful with that temptation that's disguised as a way out. Because the devil gets a kick out of you struggling under pressure. When God is testing you, the challenge may feel exhausting. But the quality of your performance will greatly improve when you endure the pain that you must go through. God will teach us how to be responsible people before he move us to the next level. And that's a strength within itself. That's why we must pay attention to the signs of the enemy because the moment he take notice of your potential, he will try to attempt to entice you with something that's not beneficial for your life. And the more you become distracted with the pleasures of life, the less you'll want to go through. In other words, Nobody wants to be tested. We must rather find an easier route by nature. So that's why we must endure temptation because the road ahead may prove to be challenging. But every obstacle we overcome is one step closer to the finish line. Don't let the devil derail you off the path of righteousness that ultimately will lead you to success. Stay focused on the Heavenly Father so he can strengthen you through the test of life because at the end of the day temptation ultimate goal is to humiliate you but testing is meant to strengthen you number two your knowledge will increase sometimes god will pop quiz our faith to make sure we're listening to his instructions on how to live and ultimately become joyful people in the presence of his holiness to increase in godly wisdom, we must first unlearn worldly wisdom. And we do this by receiving the kingdom of God as a child would. A child is willing to learn heavenly things that's above simply because their heart isn't filled with hatred that comes from the world. They have an open heart. So when you come to the heavenly father as a child, you're coming to him with an open heart. That's why the word say in Mark 10, verse 15, Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. The reason why our faith is tested in unexpected ways, just like a pop quiz, is because through rebirth is when we begin to learn and our knowledge increase. We begin to learn the wisdom of God when we're born again. Because of the new mindset that we develop, of life. Also, the word says in Ephesians 3, verse 19, and to know the love of Christ, which passed knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. The fullness of God is complete love, wisdom, and understanding. And that's what the Heavenly Father wants you to have. But the enemy will always come with another temptation to try to derail you from this wisdom, because the devil wants us to become comfortable with the sins of this world. He don't want us to grow as people. He don't want us to learn nothing new. He don't want our knowledge to increase about the kingdom of God. So to pass the test, we must believe in Lord Jesus because through him, that's how our knowledge increases. And to gain access to this knowledge, we must receive the kingdom of God as a child would, a child that's willing to learn. Number three, 
you will find new identity. One of the hardest tests we must go through is when God wants to give you that new identity that we find in Christ. Because we gotta go through a character development phase in order to break free from who we once was. See, the test is this. When the Heavenly Father wants to do something new in your life, we gotta get to a place that we're letting go of the stuff that we once found pleasure with doing. Because if your life is filled with a bunch of old stuff, you will have little to no room to receive the abundance of God in your life. Basically what I'm trying to say is the old version of ourselves has already acquired too much junk that's attached to the world. We must free up space. And we do that by finding new identity in Christ. That's a fresh start. And that's what the Heavenly Father wants to give you. Because if God don't give us that fresh start, it's almost like eating a whole bunch of junk food over the course of time. And over that course of time, you start to become unhealthy. But if you cut out what's making you unhealthy, then your life will start getting back on track. So we got to let go of the stuff that's making us unhealthy. We got to step into the newness of life in order for us to be able to receive the abundance of God. Because God wants to transform your life. He wants to give you stuff that makes you better as a person, not worse. So God will give you a new identity through Christ in order for us to receive the newness of life. Now, the temptation is this. There is stuff that's attached to our old identity that we may have enjoyed doing. Stuff that's not of God. But yet we enjoy doing it. So we look over it. We try to justify it. We try to... Say, hey, this ain't too bad. God probably won't mind this. And that's what the enemy wants you to believe. So he will try to keep a little bit of that in front of you, that stuff that's old, that stuff that God wants you to let go in front of you in order to prolong your evolution of becoming a new creature in Christ. That's why one of the ways to overcome whatever the enemy is trying to plan for your life is to submit to the will of God. We must submit to God's plan. We must submit to what the Heavenly Father is trying to do for our life. Don't submit to the enemy. Submit to God. Because if we have free will to submit to, submit to our own will, then we can use that same free will to submit to God's will. That's how you resist the devil and he shall flee. That's how you endure the temptation because God will always succeed in our life if we allow him to be in our life. Don't fall victim to the guilty pleasures of this world. Let the new identity that you found in Christ override the old character of who you once was because you're no longer that person anymore. No matter how many times the devil try to remind you of that past, you are made new in Christ, and that's the truth you should hold on to, and also the hope that we find in Christ. Last but not least, number four, you will be put in unfamiliar territory. Sometimes God will call us to do something we don't want to do, and he will call us to go places we don't want to go. I remember when me and my family became homeless, that was something I didn't want to do. And we had to sleep at places I didn't want to sleep. But nevertheless, I did it anyway because that's what God was calling us to do. i never forget that moment when he said, it's time for us to forsake all to follow Lord Jesus. And that's what we did. So we had to drop everything that we was doing or planning to do. And that was the hardest decision we have ever had to make in our life at that time. See, oftentimes the Heavenly Father will use the one thing that's the hardest for you to do in order to increase your faith in Him because He wants us to believe and trust Him with the things we can't see. And from one believer to another, our belief system in the Heavenly Father is everything because if it's one thing I know, the devil will try to tempt you out of your positioning with the Heavenly Father when you're not willing to endure the hardships of the path that the Heavenly Father has you on. 
See, when we endure temptation, we are inviting the promises of God to be in our life. But if we don't endure temptation, and if we take that easy way out, we forfeit what God wants to do for our lives. And the devil knows this. That's why he will disguise temptation as a way out. Like a previous word I did. When I was talking about how the enemy will disguise temptation as a way out. Every time we take the easy way out, we don't become stronger. We become weaker. So we got to continue to believe in the plans of God. Yeah, that test may be difficult, but when we don't skip around the critical path, guess what? That's the pop quiz. That's what we're studying for. So when we finally arrive to the destination, we have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to overcome whatever new obstacle that may be in front of us. When God places us in unfamiliar territory, it's never something we want to do. But if you choose to do it, you're going to be glad you didn't take the easy way out that the devil was trying to tempt you with, simply because taking the easy way out makes you feel like a terrible person. It makes you feel bad about yourself. But when you know you put in that time, when you know you put in that work that the father tasked you with doing, you feel better about yourself. You keep your integrity. And that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Look at what Judas did. He took the easy way out for some money. And then he felt terrible afterwards. So that's why we got to endure temptation. We don't want to feel terrible afterwards if we give in to that temptation. See, when God is testing you, that's how he's increasing your knowledge so you can understand this is wrong, this is right. He's blessing you with discernment. He's teaching you how to deal with life when he's testing you. So pray for discernment so you can distinguish between the two. Is it God or is it the enemy? Is it testing or is it temptation? But like I said at the beginning of the video, testing is when something is being placed in front of you that you don't want to do. Tempting is when something is being placed in front of you that you want and want to do. And it'll be something that's easy because the flesh is always trying to give in to the pleasures of the world. Be able to pay attention. Listen to God and you will pass the test. These are four signs you are being tested, not tempted. I pray this video bless you. In Jesus name, amen. I love y'all.